in general, I'd say a lot, it's interesting the way kind of collecting has gone recently. I mean, more and more people seem to be trying to get into it, and it seems to be becoming more and more fashionable as you know, with every month that goes by. Um, and we're seeing a lot of collectors at the moment just trying to kind of come into the market because you have to have a condo or you have to have a Kasama or whatever it might be. Um, a, a lot of people are feeling a bit more secure about spending a lot of money on having these works and they're starting to see them as assets as opposed to just pictures. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, I, I'd say that a, lot, a lot of our clients are um, investors as well as collectors. The, the average kind of profile of collector who we're seeing at the moment is less so the kind of guy who buys a painting because they necessarily absolutely love it or have a massive kind of um, art crush on any particular artist or just absolutely, you know, we're seeing less people who kind of just happen to absolutely love art and more people who see it as a social thing or as a status thing or people who kind of even just see it as a kind of commodity or an asset. So I guess it's a kind of, I don't know if it's past five year, past 10 year kind of thing, but um, artness and kind of and websites that allow you to kind of see what pieces are worth much more easily when you can kind of see an auction result um, and when pieces are kind of, when their value is so much more obvious I think that maybe kind of really appeals to collectors slash investors who are kind of buying works because they want to get something that's going to really hold its value.